so the Tau Tau has been giving me trouble on the cold start sometimes. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the electric choke. So I'll take this seat out here. And I don't know if it's because of the wires. The clamp on the scooter got cut, so I ended up just taping whatever carb I put on it. I have to tape the wires and cut the clamp off. But that's a long story. So right here, if you look and see this little silver part under my finger, if you press down on that with the screwdriver, it starts right up. But I just found this little trick, so let me grab a screwdriver here. I haven't ran the scooter in a couple days, so it's definitely going to be a cold start. And I'll show you what it does without pressing that. So you have to hold the brake and then the electric start. And usually once it's warmed up, it just starts, you know, first or second try. So I could kick it right now probably 20 times and it would start up once it gets warm, I guess. But the little trick, like I said, if you just press down on this, and then it's tricky because you have to hold the brake in and press the electric start, and then maybe turn the throttle a little. So you can get a rubber band or something to hold your brake lever in but I just do it with my foot. It looks kind of funny, but I don't know if we can get it on camera here. So you just pull that lever with your foot, press this down, and then start it. Hold the lever with your foot. So there you go, 75, 76 so far. So if you guys are having trouble on the cold start, you might and then just try pressing that little lever down. Or not lever, but see what happens. It's just something wrong with my particular setup. You know, probably a silly mistake that I made. Maybe it's just those wires aren't connected. But that's one way to get it started in the cold without kicking it like 20 times. So we'll probably change the oil today, do some other stuff, and some autocross coming up this weekend with the R32. Gotta get ready for that. Pull the wheel spaces off. Busy day today. 